Engineer 775, we're going to work on what we call a hideaway well. I did a test hole with a hand drilled auger and we found water about five, six feet. So that gave us a good indication of our static water level. Sorry. And we're going to go ahead and, uh, we're going to go ahead and do this a different way. We're going to make a, a well, but use a casing. We're going to call this a hideaway well. To do a test hold, make sure we can get deep enough with a small excavator. We've got a larger one, but uh, we don't want to tear up the woods too much. So let's see what we get here. Let's make a well. Okay, we've found the water. That's water down there. And we've dug down a shelf to get the track hoe down in so we can really start to dig this hole out. We're going to dig as much as we can. We've got our Dump truck ready with our load of gravel. I've got my pipe that I've drilled a gazillion holes in, and we got our fabric cloth that we will line. We will line the big hole that he's about to dig out, and I'm going to get on the skid steer and move some dirt out of his way. And uh, that's it. Okay, we moved most of the dry dirt out of the way, and now we're going to just do a steady dig into the mud, into the water. Preparing our, our well. And then we will line this hole with uh, number eight uh, filter fabric. And then we'll put our stone in there. And after we set in our casing. Now the casing is taken and drilled a gazillion holes in it, uh, quarter inch holes, glued on bottom cap. We're not cutting the length of it yet. We'll wait till we set everything, and then we'll cut and put our eight-inch T with a pitless adapter set up. Okay, we're getting our hole. We're getting our nice well. Get down into some nice rock. Deuce and a half dump truck. Hard to beat. Runs on just about anything. This is what the gravel we're using for our hideaway well. And uh, what an awesome piece of equipment. Let's go put some gravel in the well. Yeah, you can't you can't beat the old deuce and a half dump truck. Let's go anywhere down in the woods. Take your gravel with you. She'll climb up out of the hole. Here she comes, the old deuce and a half, bringing the gravel in. One of the things I've just, we've made up here is a pitless adapter, kind of a different style. Ended up putting a bulkhead fitting, one inch bulkhead and a cap, four inch pipe. And then inside I've got a union, so you can unthread this. Below the union, below this T is gonna, I'm gonna end up putting this 30 inch 10 micron filter, then a check valve, and then plumbing and will transition to one inch. And this 8 inch T will go over the 8 inch well casing. And then we're going to cap it on top. And uh, so you'll have an access port. And on the pump I'm going to use, which is a Dankoff slow pump, I'm going to have a priming port. You just pop the cap off, prime it, and it'll hold its prime because I'm putting a check valve. But for the first run and any subsequent work or pump work or replace of brushes or something like that, and if you, gotta, if you lose prime, We'll have this priming port. So you'll just reach down in here. If you ever need to remove anything, just unthread that union and pull the, the drop pipe, fil the fab uh, filter up and out. So here's a homemade pitless adapter from, from a eight inch DWVT to a four inch. It gives you a nice flat surface so you can put a bulkhead fitting on. And from here, we're gonna go out to the, to the pump. Okay. Okay, here's our little hide well We're going to cut this casing down and move the, 
the T, the screw cap access. There's a priming port in there as well, so you can fill up your line. Check valve, 30 inch filter, and this is going to come over to the pump. So um, I'm going to let this dry up a little bit, but we'll cut this down below grade, and you will not see a thing. Okay, we're back. So we're pumping water out of the well, the hideaway well, here with a little uh, high pressure pump. And I'm kicking around. Plenty of water is starting to clear up nicely. That's it for hydro. 